Unit 16. Carbon allotropy. Diamond and graphite. So, I hope you all read the uh, chapter I assigned about the periodic table. Before we take a quiz on it, I'd like to cover the information in a bit more detail. Today, what I'd like to do is discuss a special kind uh, form of elements, allotropes. Now, allotropes are types of substances which contain the same element but are still very different. I know this sounds a bit strange. I mean, if two things are made up of the same element, then shouldn't they be the same? Let's consider carbon. The two most common allotropes of carbon are graphite and diamond. Both are composed of carbon. But the crucial point is that the carbon atoms are arranged differently in each. As a result, each looks and has vastly different properties. To begin with, diamond is the hardest mineral known to man. I am sure that you've all seen diamonds before, but it, uh, they're really quite unique, which accounts for the cost. The carbon atoms in diamond are arranged in a lattice. To put it another way, the carbon atoms form a crystal. Besides their use in jewellery, diamonds have a number of other important properties. For instance, they are a very good insulator, and power diamond is used as an abrasive. In contrast, graphite is virtually the opposite, is fairly soft, and is a good conductor of um, electricity. In many industries, graphite is used as a lubricant. The reason for these differences is that the carbon atoms in graphite are arranged in sheets. This also explains why carbon is dark and diamond is clear. So, does that mean we can change one kind to the other? Yeah, and in fact we already do. Scientists are able to vaporize graphite and using extreme pressure and high temperatures convert it into diamond. By the way, this mimics the process of which diamonds are actually made. Natural diamonds are formed deep below the surface of the earth with the heat and pressure change carbon. This is why it is so rare to find diamonds as opposed to graphite which is pretty common. Now most of the artificial diamonds are used in various industries, but some are now being used as jewellery. Incidentally, graphite is actually the more stable form of carbon. So those of you out there with diamonds should be aware that your precious stones are slowly changing into graphite. Fortunately, this is a very slow process. Listening Comprehension Number 1. What is the professor mainly discussing? Number 2. What does the professor say is the main difference between carbon allotropes? Number 3. According to the professor, what are the two ways that allotropes can change? Number 4. What can be inferred about artificial diamonds? Number 5. Which of the following is a trait of diamond and graphite? Put a check in the correct box for each sentence.